Lo ta'amod al dam re'echa. Do not stand idle while your brother is in danger. The preservation of human life is one of our most fundamental Jewish values. Ve'ahavta l'reecha kamocha. Love your fellow as you love yourself. It is by these two values that Hatzola operates. Hatzola Melbourne was established in 1995 following a number of tragic incidents. Melbourne has more Holocaust survivors than anywhere outside Israel. Many of them retained a morbid fear of sirens, uniforms and being taken away. So they didn't call ambulances and sometimes paid with their lives. Four young men from the Adas Israel community dreamed of doing something about it. I was davening in Adas Israel shul one morning and uh, there was a person collapsed and I had no idea what to do and this person passed away. Old Mr. Holser was feeling unwell one Friday night. He had chest pains and they didn't call an ambulance and he did pass away. Myself and the three other guys decided that we'll try to copy the role model of Hatsula in America. And they felt that if there was a Hatsula, if there was a concept which everybody knew of in the world, and if we had such a concept in Melbourne, we could have made a difference. We had these dreams that everyone thought we, we were crazy. We approached the ambulance service and from there it grew and we started to train. We went to collect money. I think the heart start was about $13,000, so we wanted to have a heart start for everyone. And we took out a lease, of which my father was a guarantor. I don't know how he believed in us to take on board the lease, but he did, to buy the defibrillators. We were paying off one a month. And there was many a Tuesday night that Yumi Friedman and I were out there raising money where we did not have the money in the bank for the next day's payment. And given we operate in a very structured environment in Australia, within the medical fraternity, how do we put some structure behind what we're doing? So I volunteered to put that structure together. I was given the job of teaching the basic course. I probably didn't have my heart in it then. Here you go, here's a challenge for you. Mm, they got over that challenge. I'll make a harder challenge. They've done it. So I could see some dedication and it wasn't a fly by night wonder that I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> I went to the ambulance service and said, who's the best medical director out there? And they said, you won't get him. And I said, who is it? He said, George Bradberg, and I said, I'm going to get him. Danny's request to provide some clinical leadership to Hatsola, to provide some advice and some direction. He initially knocked us back, and he rang me at 6 o'clock the next morning and said, I haven't slept all night, I'm on board. From fledgling beginnings in an East St Kilda lounge room, Hatsola has grown into a proactive pre-hospital care provider respected and recognised by Ambulance Victoria and proudly participating as a member of the Victorian State Health Plan. Hatsola is the only culturally based first response team operating in Australia today. I have great pleasure sometimes when I'm travelling and recently I was in the Middle East visiting mainly Arabic countries and I have a wonderful time talking about Hatsola as the example. <laughs> This year, Hatzola celebrates 18 years of life-saving activity in Melbourne's Jewish community. They have remained on call for over 3 million man-hours. Hatzola has chalked up almost 16,000 calls since its inception in 1995. Hatzola, where's your emergency? The response begins with Hatzola's volunteer call-taker and dispatcher. Most dispatchers are themselves experienced responders. At other times, trained volunteer women dispatch calls from Hatsola headquarters. And we also went on to research the cardiac arrest group of patients that we were attending to. And what we found out of that research was that Hatsola responded to cardiac arrest faster than anywhere else in the world. With an average response time of three minutes, each responder may spend 50 hours a month attending cases, plus debriefing, paperwork, ongoing training and other duties. We've all seen them in action, calmly and confidently working to revive, resuscitate and apply the paramedical skills they've studied and perfected. And my mum, when she had a heart attack, they like started making her feel relaxed. I wouldn't have a mum if it wasn't for Atsola. The emergency is not always a cardiac event. Responders are trained to treat diverse medical conditions. Sometimes it's just a cut finger or a bump on the head. 
I landed on my left arm. Luckily, it was my left. That's all that came. Chair squished my finger, and my whole finger fell off, and that's all I iced it and saved my finger. There was a particular member of the community who was severely disabled. His capacity to stay home depended on Hatsola members being willing to leave their tables on Friday night to get him from his Shabbos table to bed. And we did this week in, week out for years. We are tremendously enriched, each and every one of us who helped him by going and doing that for him so he could spend his Shabbos with his family. These responders are ordinary guys making extraordinary sacrifices 24 hours a day, every day of the year. As they receive a call on the radio they carry everywhere, they abandon whatever they're doing and rush to the scene. Shabbat and Yom Tov are no exceptions. My first call was the day I started responding, which was to a young boy who was choking. That all turned out okay. Uh, I can't remember any exact call, but I can remember feeling a little bit inadequate because this is something new. Am I doing the right thing? A baby had been drowned. She met me at the front door and handed me this blue baby. Thank God, I mean, this girl must be close to 18 now. I've had a heart condition since I turned 40. When I was doing some work for my synagogue, I collapsed. I was at the right place at the right time. Somebody was actually coming out and was able to call Hatsola. The message that came through was that some drug addict had collapsed in the street. Of course, Hatsola being who they are, don't discriminate. Confirmed full arrest. Shock advised. Clinically, I was dead. Hatsola was right around the corner. Being on the spot within that critical time period brought me back. But there isn't always a happy ending. I went to a cardiac arrest at a 21st birthday party. It was the father of the boy having the birthday. He unfortunately didn't survive. Another really challenging scene is anything to do with mental health. You see how it really tears apart people themselves as well as families. There's no quick fix for anything like that. The toughest call I ever went to was a suicide. We didn't even know if there was a patient in the house at all. Uh, so we started searching and searching and we unfortunately found the patient. Turning up to uh, an unknown address and finding a, a friend who was uh, in full arrest and cardiac arrest. As a responder in the community, you're going to invariably come across somebody you know. I do call taking. I got a phone call from a lady and she says, come quickly, Mrs Donut has collapsed. I'm taking the call and it's my mother who's just had a stroke. In addition to responding to medical emergencies, Hatsola conducts searches for missing persons. It teaches first aid and runs CPR training courses in schools and workplaces. It lectures, provides information on youth alcohol and drugs, and is regularly on standby at community events. There was a young child who fell into a pool. He was drowning. One of the students who I was in the middle of the course, middle of training, jumped in with another friend, pulled the child out, started CPR on the child. I was fortunate to be a responder who attended to see my student having taken those first steps and without question having saved that child's life. More lives can be saved if people on scene begin resuscitation before help arrives. Hatsola, together with Gandal Philanthropy, launched its Start the Heart program in October 2013. 70 defibrillators are being installed in Jewish community organizations, schools and shuls. Hatsola provides the training to use them. Hatsola is looking to the future and hopes to expand its services to other areas in Melbourne where Jewish people live. Also on the drawing board, personal alarm monitoring systems, GPS tracking technology and providing telemedical information such as asthma readings or ECG readings to help patients monitor their conditions. If we haven't already called Hutzoller ourselves, we know someone who has. And we too need to feel assured that we can get an immediate response to our own call for help. When every second counts, we know we can count on Hutzoller. But they need our help too, to continue the life-saving work they do for us every day. I don't think that when we initially took on board responders, we understood the commitment that we took on board. But you loved it. You loved being able to help people. I love what I'm doing. Love giving back to the community. I constantly get asked if I would be asked again to do it, would I do it? 
and without a thought, yes, I would. And there's no better joy in life than helping someone else. Just making life easier for someone is the best feeling. There was certainly a thrill about it, and there was certainly a, a sense of really doing something valuable, valued. I don't think I've been in a situation where I've had to save a life, but I know I've always made a difference. One time I wore a Zola t-shirt down there, and someone parked next to me and they ran after me, shook my hand and said, what a good job Hazola does. I'm so proud that I've met you and shook your hand. It was like... Extraordinarily fortunate to be involved in an organisation which has at its heart, and such a big heart, the need to provide care for the community. I'm a fortunate member of a big club. You were very quickly a wanted, needed part of the community that today, 20 years or 18 years later, Melbourne wouldn't dream of being without. Good evening, this is based with an emergency at number 253 Tucker Road in Ormond. Saving those lives. I try to be the very first to respond to the huts on the call so I can help them survive in the middle of the night. Oh, I'm hoping for more sleep. I'm too tired for fear. I hold on to my dreams and I'm responding to something. Something deep in my soul. And now it's making me choose a job that makes you feel whole. But I'm committing it now, I don't think anymore And so it won't take the rest of my life Until I find what it is I've been living for In the middle of the night When a woman can't breathe The family's shaking in fright But all's fine when we leave There's a man with some chest pain Something so undefined It can only be treated You've done the right thing, mate. You've got some help. The guys are doing their best for him. Oh, 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 oh,